cook right there on the outside, no? Yo, shout out to our healer, Grisso. This man left PBO because Vibe said he couldn't play with us and be in PBO, so he made him choose. Grisso said, I'm not choosing. Vibe said, you gotta get out. How messed up is that? What would you do if your clan may give you an ultimatum? Let me know in the comment section down below. Oh, no way. He's down, he's down, he's down in the back, he's dead. Confirmed. I got shock bullets. description campsite doors it's a good description bro it's a really good description people always ask me why do i camp the checkpoint and i always ask them why do you always come out the same one why don't you guys come behind us like this group did what's that Another one's dead. Kilo's dead. Kilo's dead. Kilo's dead. Dude, I cooked three of them.
friend right there. Over here, 
Charge up. Right. Behind you. That's all right. Beat him. He's gonna look at my build and be like, there's no way I lost to that. This is your man Clever Thumbs, and today I'm bringing you another Division 2 build video. Now, today's day is Wednesday, April 10th, 2024. So, we are experiencing some technical difficulties among the Division, uh, being the fact that I have no freaking HUD. You guys can see I can't even see my armor, I can't see how many med kits I have. I don't know. Let's go ahead and proc my unbreakable. My unbreakable just procs. Let's pop a med kit. If you guys aren't aware this is happening everywhere. I'm not sure who's affected. I'm getting a lot of mixed comments. So let's get right into this build video. We're going to try our best to get through this together as uh, fast as possible and efficiently. So before we get right into it, definitely make sure you like, subscribe, and turn on that notification bell because you guys do know I do drop content and do live stream testing. So this is pretty much the Umbra build. I'm not going to be able to show you fully what I want to show you being to the fact that I don't have an HUD so you can't actually see my stacks go away, come into the shadow and um, from the shadow and into the light. So this is actually a Umbra build. If you guys did watch my one of my recent build videos, you guys will see that I did run an Umbra build as well. That was actually pretty fun, but yeah, I think you guys are gonna enjoy this a little bit more. Now, pretty much what we're running here is a survivalist four-piece Umbra with a Carl's holster and a Fenris backpack. I'm going to break down the build video for you thoroughly as best as I can. Uh, we're going to start off with the specialization. It's going to be the firewall. I'm going to keep it nice, short, sweet, and simple. The reason for this is for the medkits and the grenades. Um, it's pretty much, you can you guys can run whatever you want. If you want to run survivalist, that way you guys do give more damage to your team. and Pop medkits, it's totally up to you. Uh, it's your play style, so just pick and choose your poison. But I did choose the firewall. Highly recommended. My primary gun is the St. Elmo's because this is one of the top St. Elmo's built in the game. Um, right here, this is going to give you the fastest RPM, the most critical hit damage. And you guys are just going to love this build entirely. To complement that is my secondary. I don't run a shield splinter. I actually stick something more along the lines of an uh, uh, SMG, you guys can run the apartment, the MP7, a vector. Um, I kind of like the MP7 because it did get a slight buff, so you just got to show a little bit of love. Um, for my pistol, I like to run the Orbit, and if you guys don't want to run the Orbit, then I highly recommend you guys can run the TDI card custom as well. Uh, sledgehammer on your pistol is pretty highly recommended. You guys can throw your grenades and put people on sledgehammer for even more damage. Now, let's talk about Umbra because some of y'all might not know what Umbra does. 
Now, Umber, that two piece is gonna give you that 15% critical hit chance. So you already know this build is gonna slap with an AR or SMG. Cause it already has 15 critical hit chance. It might be a little bit too much for an SMG actually. Or maybe just right around enough. That three piece is gonna give you that 30% reload speed in the four piece. Well, I'm not really going to get too into this. Pretty much when you go into cover, you're going to gain uh, 100 stacks. I say 100 because I'm running the chest piece. The chest piece is going to give you 100 stacks instead of 50. So pretty much when you get 100 stacks, you're going to get up to 100% critical hit damage. And you're also going to get 30% more RPMs. So I'm going to show you guys because I probably can show you this right now being that game is kind of bugged right now but that is umbra itself so you get critical hit chance reload speed more critical hit damage and more rate of fire now to complement that let's just go through it. it's the chest piece as you guys as i did mention the chest piece is going to give you max stacks from from the shadows from 50 to 100 and your stack gain is going to be from 10 to 20 because so you're going to be uh pretty much getting more stacks um, if you run the chest piece and you're gonna get more stacks if you run the backpack for going into cover Which is the into the light. We don't care about into the light. We only care about from the shadows This is gonna give you the RPM and the rate of fire now the gloves uh, Sorry guys, I didn't say but pretty much everything is critical hit damage on you know the mask the chest piece critical hit damage armor I do have critical hit chance mod critical hit damage mod and uh the glove is actually a red because I'm actually recommending you to run this at a 1.5 you guys are gonna thank me later uh, 1.3 is pretty good if you can pull that off more power to you but my glove is rolled to 15% weapon damage and you do want max critical hit damage and the final piece of the umbra is going to be the knee pads now this is also going to have 170k armor and you do want max critical hit damage now the holster, the holster is pretty freaking good. You want as much damage as you possibly can get on this build because you're going to be critting a lot. And the Carl's holster, which is the Brazos Archibald's holster, is going to give you that 10% skill haze. You're going to have uh, max armor rolled on here. You're going to want max critical hit damage. And this is the only holster or the only piece that actually gives you armor and 15% weapon damage. So... It's just the way it is you can't swap the armor on here you can't put a yellow you can't put a red it's stuck on blue so this is pretty much the pretty penny right here now to complement the entire build you are going to run a fenris which is going to give you that 10 percent assault rifle damage of course you do want max weapon damage max critical hit chance max critical hit damage and max critical hit damage mod now to put this whole build uh, with the cherry on top, we are running Vigilance. Vigilance is going to increase your total weapon damage by 25%. Taking damage disables this buff for 4 seconds. So as long as you're not getting shot, you have an extra 25% weapon damage on the entire build. So you guys can see we're stacking 25 weapon damage there. You have an extra 15 from the Picaros, and you're getting 10% from the Assault Rifle. That is a lot of damage. Now, I am running the decoy and missing mod here duration i do not run this i actually run the defender drone i was running the secret mine because probably there was a lot of uh squishy dps players with snipers in the back and i was just trying to get them out of cover so i can shoot them so let me just show you a couple numbers here we're going to show you without umbra then with orbit and umbra and that's pretty much the build video i'm going to show you right here my stats are 56.7 critical hit chance with 157.9 critical hit damage. You're probably going, well, well, clever. Uh, you said that you had over 250 critical hit damage. That's right. Let's go into cover and practice. So, being at the fact that I don't have an HUD, you guys did just see that my symbol just came up. I'm charging up right now. My Umbra stacks from the shadows as soon as you come out let's go into the stats and you guys can see that i have 56.7 critical hit chance and 255.9 critical hit damage now let's go ahead and let me take this piece off get that stacks off let's go ahead and get this target down or proc orbit you guys can see my numbers right now 419 19 that was damage to health at the end we're gonna go ahead and get our stacks 
Swap to the orbit. Get this. I'm going to swap to the St. Elmo's. And we're going to shoot like hell. So as you guys can see, that is a huge damage. I know you can't see my orbit proct. Looks like orbit just faded off because the numbers did drop. So you guys can reach up to 300% critical hit damage or more with this build. I really highly recommend that you guys do try it. And if you guys just see in the opening acts, this build destroys other players. You guys can use this in PvE as well. You guys make it a little bit squishier. Uh, you guys can even throw the Momento backpack if you were in PvE and keep the Picaros or Porter Fenris. You know, this build does destroy. I'm running the St. Elmo's because the St. Elmo's, you're going to be able to stack your shock bullets so fast because you're shooting and your RPM is insane. And you guys can see I have the regular RPM for the St. Elmo's is. 850 rpm let me just show you how much more you go i think it's a thousand and forty rpm when you have fully stacked you only got to be in cover for a few seconds also when you're in cover you're gaining armor i know you guys can't see my armor right now so this is kind of not the best build video but i did want to get this out asap let's go ahead and look at my rpm my rpm is bugged oh 1089 1084 1079 so it's pretty much over a thousand forty is what I was saying, but let's see if we can get you an accurate number here. Well, I was sitting at 1106, it looked like. So this thing does shred. Um, that's it, that's the whole build. Just wanted to get y'all out there with this one. I hope you guys do enjoy it. And if you guys do see more of this inside the dark zone, you know, after they fix this whole thing, um, then you guys can thank me later on that. But I'm going to be streaming here very shortly. We're going to be playing some conflict. And uh, hopefully, we don't get that. What is that called? That perma. Perma. Uh, perma death. There you go. Well, this is your man, Clever Thumbs. I'm signing out. And I hope you guys do enjoy this. I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.